Greetings all. Here's a walk through our mechanical fabrication capabilities in San Diego. If you have shop capabilities that you can offer for the phase four project, then please file either an issue or a pull request and we'll add it to the list below. First, a Volterra V1 circuit printer. This can handle ordinary PCB material up to three millimeters thick, but it can also do flexible circuits on material like Kapton. 0.2 millimeter minimum trace width, 0402 minimum passive size, and 128 millimeters by 116 millimeters print area. It can print, cure, and solder. It can also drill, but I do not have that attachment. Two is a Ultimaker 2 that's been upgraded to a 2 plus. We have done several microwave feeds and antenna designs, including an elliptical taper 10 gigahertz horn, dual band feeds, helical structures, and more. We metalize using conductive paint, and the results have been very good. Resolution of this printer setup is 0 0.02 millimeters, which is good enough for 120 gigahertz multi-reflector systems and beyond. Wood shop with metal brake, grinding wheel, and a drill press. For textiles and embroidery, we have a FAF Creative Vision with embroidery deck and all the hoops. We also have a serger, multi-purpose machine, air compressors, and a 1929 South Bend lathe. This Tormach PCNC 440 is a small, light-duty, three-axis CNC milling machine, capable of working to accuracies of about a thousandth of an inch, a couple hundredths of a millimeter, within a work envelope of about six by ten inches. 150 by 250 millimeters. We have a reasonably complete set of ordinary tooling and work holding accessories for it. We are certainly not expert machinists, but with these tools we can make prototype runs of a wide variety of parts and materials like plastic, aluminum, and steel. Not every shape is easy or even possible to make with a three-axis mill, but for most designs we can make a part that will work. We have access to the large laser cutter at colab.org. Use of the machine is free for non-commercial work. As we enter into the stage where we will be doing more mechanical design, these are the resources that are immediately available for early prototypes.